sat in front of my microphone for about 15 minutes trying to figure out what to say. And it goes to show that I am not really cut out for making videos on YouTube because I don't talk. Without further ado, let's go play The Lost Legends of Redwall, the Scout! two days hence. I don't see how you can possibly be ready, Brother Jethro. Fear not, old friend. Formal assures me that the stage will be ready this evening, and I've never known him to be wrong. Everything will be quite all right. Cutting things close doesn't suit me. You know that. I'm a planner. I'm a philosopher. This whole business has my humors out of balance. There they are, Brother Wilford. You just let me fret about the play, and you make sure the feast is perfect. I'm especially looking forward to that hot roof sun salad. Oh yes, yes, quite right. There's much to be prepared. Friar Randall was concerned that the cheese and onion hogs bake was too heavy to follow the brazier leaks. He may be correct. You see? There's far more need for your talents in the kitchen than out here. Let your old friend do what he's good at. Making a fool of himself. Oh my. Very well. I'll take my leave. But please try to keep on schedule. You know how I worry. <laughs> Indeed I do. Sister Edelweiss, I trust William won't perish before he has a chance to taste the good friar's blackberry crumble. Mm. Boy, now, it's hard to say. It's a surely a bit of black water fever. Now I can't remedy with some nettles and wort, but that foul temper, now, that just might be fatal. I'm not grumpy. No? Boy, Yoki. Then why in the sharp toe when I ask for that filthy old wind glass? The rusty old thing is reeking with mold and moire. It's likely the cause of your fever for all the fuss it's bearing. Eh, sorry, Grandfather. I, um, found it in the library. Your name. You drinkers as tonic, and you'll be out storming dark forests with all these dibbons before a moon's turned her face this way. <laughs> the rain of a hilltop again, Brother Jethro. Shall we wait for you? No need to wait, lads. Carry on, and I'll be there shortly. Thank you for your legendary healing skills, sister. As always, we are in your debt. We? Oh, <laughs> I say it's just you who be so annoyed. <laughs> I haven't seen this in ages, and such perfect timing, dear boy. Do you know who this weight glass belonged to, William? Honest truth. I just thought it was another trinket you'd packed away for no good reason. Trinket? Better ones. This was one of the trusty tools carried by the Lilygrove Scout Corps back when Clooney the Scourge, that wretched pirate, laid siege to Red Wall Abbey. And it so happens that this very thing has a role to play in the story we'll be telling for the Abbot's celebration. I've written a play to share one of my lost legends with all of Red Wall. Of course, everyone knows about Matthias and Constance and Basil Staghair. But few know about the trio of brave woodlanders from Lilygrove who played a crucial role in those events. Have you ever heard of Liam or Sophia Rivermouth? No, but, um, I don't suppose you could be telling me the story, since I'm bedridden and ailing, and might not live to see the play. Please? Let's see. Where well, to begin? Now, in regards to the dialogue in this game, I don't want to do a straight let's play where I'm going to go through all the dialogue options. 
Because in true Redwall fashion, there is a lot of it. And so to save time, save recording space on my computer, and save editing time, because I don't get to sit down and do this all the time, I'm just going to cut to the action. Alas, I am late. I hope you'll pardon it. The fiery ring of devastation needed to be refueled. <laughs> I trust neither of you caught a shiver. I will seek with the wretch for my initiation. <laughs> Didn't make a bit of difference, though. A scout needs to be ready, no matter the situation. So, which one of you is in the dock this fine winter evening? <laughs> it's, it's my turn, sir, and I'm ready. Oh, are you now? Liam, you kept our initiation right a secret, I trust. No spoiling the surprises. No, sir. Not a word. On my honor. Very good. Initiate, head on up to camp and check in with Rootsworth. He'll be dithering with the victuals, no doubt. And don't lollygag. There's a lot to do tonight. Uh, before you go, take this. The sisters at the Abbey made it special for this occasion. I'm very proud of you. I hope you know that. See you next when you're a scout! What are you lollygagging around here for, Initiate? Don't you want to be a scout? There's work to be done. Despite being built generations ago, and being a well-loved home away from home, the ascent to Hilltop Camp was treacherous, and by design. The scouts trained to be especially nimble and spry, and training meant learning certain skills that were beyond most woodland. Are you Rootsworth? Huh? Really? Does he look like the type to spend his days elbow deep in buttercream, rolling out scones and taking a wee taste of every peppered pie from here to sell a magister? Um... Huh? I do quite like butter. That's not what I meant at all. I'm trying to point out that you don't look at all like Rootsworth. Well, yes you do, but you see, he's big. Um... Huh? Oh, but not like that. Not like you. You're tall and big. Uh, look here, Initiate. This is Laban, not Rootsworth. I'm sure I mentioned him when we were training to pick out scents in the wild, because Laban here has a nose as good as any mole's. Uh, the mouse you're looking for is up at the Spitfire. Come right on inside and you can't miss him. And by that I mean, it's impossible to miss him. 